Eating ultra-processed foods has been linked to health issues time and time again. Now a new study is out using over 30 years worth of data to clarify which foods you should really avoid. UW Health's Dr. Jeff Potoff is here for his weekly visit to help us break it all down. Hello. Hey, how are you guys doing? Oh, doing well. We're learning about ultra-processed foods today. Yeah, as we all are, yeah. So how can you tell the difference? Like, what are some key things to know, like, oh, I probably shouldn't eat this? Yeah, I think, you know, when you're trying to identify what an ultra-processed food is, it's good to think about what you think the ingredients in the food are and then turn over the package and read it. And if mm -hmm. it's like, you know, 15 different ingredients, it's probably ultra processed. I think another way to think about it is like unprocessed foods are, you know, like fruits, vegetables, um, meat, um, minimally processed, maybe you put a little salt on it. Ultra processed is like, you know, going from corn to canned corn to corn chips, mm -hmm. um, that, that kind of thing. Uh, they're everywhere, they're very convenient, they're typically tasty, they don't require much preparation to eat, um, but there's a lot of studies that show they're probably not very good for us. Yeah, yeah. And what are sort of the main sort of bad, bad actors, bad contributors of these? Yeah, so I think if you look at this study that looked at, you know, a lot of people over a lot of years, uh, they looked at ultra-processed meats, um, so a lot of things that you can uh, have like a, a protein, whether it's, you know, seafood, chicken, beef, uh, that you can just like warm through and eat, uh, those typically are pretty bad for you. Uh, they also looked at sugary drinks, uh, so this really gets at um, like soda, mm -hmm. uh, other canned uh, carbonated beverages. They're 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 high on the list. Um, dairy products that are desserts. So unfortunately, this would look at ice cream. Uh, if ice cream is something that you eat every day. That's probably not a great thing. And then the last thing are some of these sugary, ultra-processed breakfast foods. So think, um, uh, you know, uh, some of those processed donuts that you can get, like those donuts where if you leave them out for a week, they still taste okay. <laughs> yeah. They're yeah. probably ultra-processed. Uh, Lucky Charms, things like that, things with high, high levels of sugar. Those are the four groups of foods that they fall on most highly associated uh, with this slightly increased all-cause mortality. Even some of the health foods I've noticed have a lot of those ingredients that you think that it's good for you, but it's really not. It's true. There, there are a lot of foods that, you know, when you look at the package, you think that they're healthy mm -hmm. and, and they're not. At the same time, like, it's not like all ultra-processed foods are, are bad. There's some that do do a good job of trying to, like, put back in, uh, you know, key vitamins, minerals, things like that. So it's not like a complete prohibition, uh, but we have to be careful, particularly around the quantity that we consume of these things. If our diet is predominantly ultra-processed foods, it's not great. Very few of us are going to be able to completely avoid ultra-processed foods because we have busy lives, we don't have time to cook, uh, and sometimes it's hard to find yeah. fresh food. Especially in those food deserts, you know, getting healthy food can sometimes be really tough. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, does it help um, for people to think about food as medicine? Kind of an investment, what you put into your body, you might get the benefits later on. You know, I, I think so. I think when you think about, like, your food and what you're eating, uh, I think you should think of it as, like, well, t today I I'm just eating my food. But, but long term, uh, this is part of the puzzle of how life's going to be for you later. Are you going to be healthy? Are you going to be able to do those things that bring you joy when you're older? Or are you going to have to struggle with things that are complicated? of these ultra-processed mm -hmm. foods. I might have diabetes. I might be really overweight. I might be able to go out and enjoy, you know, hikes with my grandkids and things like that. I think it's good to be thinking about the long game uh, when you're looking at what you're eating today. Yeah. And before everyone thinks that we're too much of a downer, can they splurge every once in a while? Absolutely. I think there's no, everything in moderation, yeah. right? Uh, and there's no way that we're going to avoid ultra-processed foods, so not complete prohibition. Just be careful about how much you're eating. Yeah. Very good. Thank you very much. You bet. Thank you. Yeah, thanks.